Abigail was a movie that wasn't on my radar. I didn't even know anything about it. We randomly um, watched the trailer because it was it was highly requested. So I'm like, all right, let me see what this Abigail thing is about. And I saw it, and I'm like, damn. I, I almost wish I went into the movie without even seeing the trailer because that would have been a crazy twist. I I also wish that they even hit that twist in the, in the trailer. But, you know, I, I get it with with movies like this. There's only so much you can hold back in a trailer because their job is to get people to, to get interested in the movie to go want to go see it. So I understand why that was in 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 the um in the trailer. And so it becomes one of them joints where it's like, I wonder how crazy the kill is gonna be. You go, you go and see it for that. And and you know, the story. It's still a crazy twist though. And I still enjoyed it, even even seeing a majority of it in the in the trailer and seeing the twist in in that too. I think that's what kind of had me. So when I watched it, first of all, yes, I enjoyed it because we watched the trailer at first, and mm-hmm. then as this week had approached, my expectations had dropped dramatically. Really? And I, I can't explain to you why, because I wasn't against the movie, but my expectations dropped dramatically. I guess because of what happened with Civil War, how I had my hopes up to the ceiling, okay. I kind of I chilled out a little bit. Watching this movie, I really do wish they hid the twist, yeah. or they just hid that certain factor. I wish they never showed it because imagine going into this motherfucker tonight not knowing right. we were going to find out what we find out about Shorty. Right, right, right. I really do wish they had because that would have made me like, oh shit. Now, even knowing it, I still enjoyed the movie but I can't help but think if that twist wasn't revealed in the trailer, mm. the impact would have been like 10 times crazy because you'd be like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it because I enjoyed it. Now, if if it was a thing where they revealed the twist in the trailer, and I went to go see the movie, the movie and trash. it fell flat, then I then I I would have let y'all have both barrels. I'm like, and then I'm <laughs> on on the podium, I'm like yo y'all fucked up, y'all y'all should have <laughs> shut the fuck up, not let it let it loose. Street, street Palpatine, you know what I'm yeah. saying? To do it, like I, I'd have been full you know full blown Sith with the shit, but I still really enjoyed the movie, and it it in a lot of ways it kind of exceeded my expectations because it, it went in places that I didn't expect it to go. Of course, you know, spoiler free in the beginning. But a lot of people say, we saw the whole movie in the trailer. You really didn't, though. You didn't. Because there's, there's still a couple things there. You know, maybe you can guess what happens. I don't know. But still, there's there's enough there to still be impressed by the movie and still really fucking enjoy it. Because things were were brutal. Like, it was, it was a really bad situation. And there were some twists and turns that I didn't expect. They didn't. They didn't play their whole entire hand in the trailer. Like you know, what I mean, there's still there's still more there that you didn't see. So fear not. If you if you liked what you saw in the trailer, you will really enjoy what you saw in the fucking movie. Yeah, it won't. It won't. The trailer didn't show you the the knee deep shit. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like all right, cool. The trailer did show you what the movie gonna be about, but there were scenes in this motherfucker where you're looking like, oh shit, this movie was. This movie to me, I feel as though the people who wrote it had fun with it. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I didn't take, even while watching it, uh, like I said, I enjoyed the movie. But realistically, I still didn't take it serious, which is why I enjoyed it so much. They mm. really had fun with this shit. Yeah. Regular group of people, asshole hair, asshole alcoholic, you know, it was it was fun to watch. And that's, that's why I enjoyed it. I went into this shit talking about some, all right, cool, it is what it is. Either I'm like or I won't. But as the movie was going on, as scenes were going and coming and go, I was actually becoming more and more impressed with the blood, mm-hmm. the gore, the situations people were being put in. Mm-hmm. I was impressed because it actually elevated as the minutes went by. Yeah. It didn't start to decline. Right. And the main thing is this movie solidified. And it's, a, it's an idea that I had before going into this. And and watching the movie, it 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 just really sank the point in and and hit the nail on the head and solidified the fact that I can't trust a girl named Abigail because you never know what the fuck you're gonna get. Like it it it's all bad. It's like you know what I mean. It's it's just it's not gonna end up the way you think it's gonna end up, or you're just gonna end up just yeah. fucked up. You can't trust an Abigail. I'm sorry. And if your name is Abigail, I'm like I, I can't trust you. We can't really be friends. We could be associates loosely, but I. I don't know what you're capable of. Bro, I know an Abigail. She is mean as fuck. I can't do it. Don't ever bring her around here. I can't do it because in the back of my mind, I'm like, 
What's what's happening? What's going on? What, I can't turn my back on you because then I, what, is, is there gonna be a knife in my head? Like I don't know. I don't know what what, what, what your what what your plan is. You did invite one Abby. I mean, and she stole my air mattress. It, her name wasn't Abigail. Though. It was Abby. It was Abigail. Trust me, her no, full name was no, Abigail. No. Her government name well, was Abigail. She didn't we call, call her herself, Abby. She didn't call herself Abigail. So it, that's different. And and you, 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 the air mattress was already leaking anyway. So she did you a favor. <laughs> She did you a favor. <laughs> Were you gonna sleep on it? <laughs> no. It was flat. So what? You, what you trying to say? Oh, she helped me. Out yeah, she helped you. Man, fuck out of here. Don't take shit from me. If I want to throw it, I'll throw it on my own damn. No, time. you won't. Put her in this movie. Cause that that this shit was brutal as fuck, man. I knew it was gonna be a a, a monster joint based on the trailer, mm -hmm. but there was way more in here than I expected. Like nowadays with horror films, you don't know what you're going to get, but you know you can kind of see the vibe of it in the trailer, and and you can get a a general idea. But there were some parts that exceeded my, my, exceeded my expectations. I didn't know they're going to push things that fucking far. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they fucking did. And like you said, they 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 just had fun with it, and you could tell like they're having fun here, and it's it's a joint where it's taking you on a ride where you can just enjoy it for what it is and just watch motherfuckers get massacred. You know what I mean? And 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 there's some good comedy in here too. That that you know, I, I laughed at, at a bunch of these parts. That's what it was. It was good comedy. Yeah. It wasn't the forced I right, three, two, one, tell your joke. No, it was comedy that fit. Natural in the moment comedy. Natural in the moment comedy. And you know, main ball. I'm pretty sure you remember who I'm talking about. The main dude, um, the main asshole ball. Mm -hmm. He was an asshole, and his comedy was inserted in the right moments. Yeah, I really felt like at some points the Wayans brothers wrote some of this shit <laughs> because it was hilarious. Because these people were in a fucked up situation, yeah. locked in a crib, and like like they were just regular people, but they were funny by nature. Right. They were not trying to tell a joke. It wasn't like they read the script and it says insert joke. Mm -hmm. It was just funny. They were really scared. When the panic started to set in, I think that's when the heat started to come. When they realized, who are we getting at? Yeah. And 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 they don't know. And they're in they're in that state of panic. And at the same time, you don't know either. And then as things get revealed, you're like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it the movie delivered for me. Like, I got what I wanted. You know what I mean? Abigail is an evil motherfucker. And, you know what I mean? Despite me wishing that they held that twist back, even going in there knowing what the fuck was going to go down, I still enjoyed the film from beginning to end. So if y'all rocked with what y'all saw in the trailer, you're going to rock with the fucking movie. I, I highly recommend it. Like, I'm not going to say it's a perfect movie. It's not a 10 out of 10. But, you know what I mean? Nobody went in there expecting a 10 out of 10. This ain't Scarface, you know what I mean? This, 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 this ain't this ain't the first Insidious. Like you know, you pretty much know what you're gonna get, and it delivers what it wants to do. It's it's a it's a horror joint where they're having fun, and by by proxy, you're having fun, and you're seeing motherfuckers get fucked up, which is what we go there for. So, and it's, and it's got Gustavo in there, so you know what I mean. Any movie they got him in there, I'm 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 rocking with that shit anyway. So. I, it, it gets high marks out of me. Any final words before we get into mm -hmm. some spoilers? Because there's not really much I can say. I got to dance around the topic because I'm not trying to let none none slip. Go see the fucking movie if y'all like the trailer. You you will you will really fucking enjoy it. This might be a multiple viewing uh, movie for some people just to enjoy what's happening because see motherfuckers get fucked up. Like it's it's really enjoyable. I don't want to sound like like a sadistic motherfucker on some like yeah kill him. But I mean some of the deaths are some some of the kills and and, and the gore is it, it's. It's entertaining. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. So, with that being said, spoiler time in three, two, one. I got to give a shout out to the girl that played Abigail. She killed that role. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to child actors, you can go either way. It can be it can be really good, it can be really bad, or it can be in the middle. This, the whole entire time was really fucking good. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not, there's not a line or 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 an emotion that she didn't try to convey that it didn't work for me. Because mm -hmm. in the beginning, she's like, she's terrified and scared. And even though you know 
Like, oh, she's on some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you still buy into that fear. And she she really seemed like a panicked little girl. Like, oh, my God, what's going on? What's going to happen to me? Please. Like, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, shit. Oh, Abigail. And then and, and, and in the back of your mind, like, but wait, you, you were a vampire, though. Hold up. But she still caught me. So I would have got fucked up. Because I, I got you. I got you. I'm going to make sure nobody hurts you. Like, that type of shit. <laughs> like, she <laughs> bitch. Like, you know what I mean? She would have killed the fuck out of me. Get in my bag. I'm going to carry you out of here. All right, cool. <laughs> Yep. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, <laughs> you got me, right? <laughs> Yo, like you, 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 you buy, <laughs> you buy into the shit, and you just—it's just really good acting from her. Even, even when, like the the, the scene when uh, they're all arguing, and she's like, "All right, enough of this shit." And then you know, her whole facial expression just changed. She gets out of the handcuffs, and she just goes demon mode. You're like, "Oh shit!" When she hit this jaw, this might have been horror movies. Over the years, horror movies have had their moments mm-hmm. where you can remember, you can always remember a fucked up scene when she hit this joint and she just surprised you with her demon face. Mm-hmm. I said, I would have shot her raggedy ass. I mean, they they they, 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 did. they, they tried. She just wiped that shit up like, what the fuck is that supposed to do? But yo, she she was such a good actor. Yeah. And she displayed the innocent slash vampire twist yeah. so good. Yeah. I really thought at some moments she didn't realize she was a vampire. Mm. Okay. She 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 became this innocent little girl to the point where I was like, hold up, does she realize that she becomes this thing right, from right, time right. to time? Right. So that's where the twist. I I made it my own twist, even though it wasn't that. That little girl. That little girl really did what she had to do. Yeah, she killed it. And for her to be so young, but to display such a demonic individual, but still be childish mm-hmm. and funny. Mm-hmm. She was toying with these motherfuckers. She said, well, I like to play with my food. I yeah. said, oh, you got me. When they had her in a cage and she was just talking shit the whole entire oh, time, she was analyzing everybody. Like, I know all you bitch ass niggas. Like, I know <sighs> you. I know you. You're this. You're that. You're a failure. You Absolutely. left your kids. Like, she was on some shit where she was just so, like, cocky. I'm like, damn. Like, that's crazy. Like, she was just... And, and, and you could tell she had fun in this role because she just ate that shit up. Like, she didn't give a fuck. She lined them niggas up. She lined them niggas up and said, to be honest with you, I bought y'all here. Yeah. Y'all all stole from me in a way. Mm-hmm. I was like, and then the um the funniest scene, I don't know how you felt about it. The funniest scene was when Main Man was talking shit while she was locked up. Yeah. And he was like, Well, you ain't never getting out. Locked her in there. Thought he locked her mm-hmm. in there. He started walking away. She said, Oh gosh, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. Push the joint over. <laughs> she the thing is, she's in full control all the time. Almost the whole entire movie. Even when they have her in the cage, she's just she's Acting like, oh no, you got me. Oh no, what am I gonna do? She's still in control because she can just open that shit whenever the fuck she wants. She wants. So she's just trying to get something out of the motherfuckers. She's still toying with him. Cocky as fuck the whole t- and to- the whole entire time. And that's why I say this girl killed this fucking role. This is the first movie I've ever seen her in. I'm not familiar with with anything she's done. I'm pretty sure if she's acting like this, this ain't this ain't her first movie. Like I'm pretty sure she's been in stuff before. I, I gotta check the IMDb. Her name oh, is shit. Alicia Weir. I'm seeing on IMDb. I, I gotta. I gotta see what else she she did because she killed this shit, man. Even if this is her first future length film, she has been involved in theater. She's been involved yeah. in like no that that's don't that's that is Dakota Fanning type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like on, on some crossover shit, I I kind of want to see her do a crossover with Megan. Like that should be fire as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like her with the battle, battle, ballerina stuff, mm-hmm. Megan with with the you know what I mean mm-hmm. the K pop dances and all that like. They, they they would be a fire team. Like they would be unstoppable. I can see Megan getting pissed the fuck off. Like the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see, I'll see you working together. I mean, you need, oh gosh. Either way, now they 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 kidnap the girl, and the whole the whole kidnap mission, like that that pretty much goes down without a hitch. Like you see you see their synergy working together. They break into the house, and they find out it's a little girl. And then the main character like, yo, what the fuck? But at that point. It's too late. So it's like, yo, you would you gonna back out now? Get get the girl, let's get the fuck out. Let's get our money. So so they 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 do it. And when they got this girl locked up in in in, in the room, they got a solid plan. They they brought her to, to Gus Fring. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep calling him that. No, you know, that's not his name in every movie, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. He's iconic, so that's that's his name. They they bring him to him, you know, they got they got set rules in place, no names. No stories, no nothing. You don't know nothing about nobody. Boom. And it all seems mm-hmm. legit to them. It seems legit to you too. So because you don't know if he's in on it or not. But right. you know what I mean? You're speculating. And then as things go on, you 
you find out that that her pops is into some shit. Like the 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 mere you hear his name, and you're like, what the fuck? Like just hearing this dude's name strikes fear into the dude where he's like, yo, fuck the money, I'm out. Yep. I knew immediately this dude got to be crazy. I don't know what he's into. I don't know if he's a vampire too, though. But yo, they they are shook. And then you start finding out what's happening piece by piece. And it, it almost remind, you ever see this movie called Identity? I was, oh yes, yes, yes. It almost reminded me yes. of of a, of a movie like that. Like you know, you, you you're getting this information piece by piece, and then everybody's kind of linked in a way. I'm like, oh shit, this shit's crazy. It's deeper than I, than I thought. You know what I mean? And when 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 dude. <laughs> When dude goes downstairs, finds a New York rat, and they, they, they exchange the pleasantries, rat like, hey, bitch ass nigga, get the fuck out of here. Like, you're like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> you scared me, motherfucker. I thought he was walking away. Rat like this. <laughs> so, so he's leaving, and then that's the first kill. The first kill is so fucking fast. I'm like, yo, she slapped this motherfucker's head off. I said, damn. And I'm not familiar with that dude, do rest in peace, because apparently he passed away. I, I, I'm yeah, not, yeah, Angus Cloud, he was yeah. in Euphoria. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not. This is the first time. I think, the first thing I've ever seen him in. So you know, it's kind of sad to hear that. But uh, yo, got him out of here fast. I don't even know if he felt it. Um, well, he he did because they, she grabbed him, and pulled him back. He was screaming the whole entire time. So it probably wasn't. It wasn't quick. Yeah, he felt himself getting dragged. But I'm pretty sure the hair swap was. Yeah, that part. Was, because the black dude, yo, he got pieced up in 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 zero point five seconds. Yeah, sure. Cat had the whole plan. Yeah, I got you. You go here. I go there. And I felt I felt bad because they had a little, you know, had a little romance. They go. I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. A fine ass. Nope. That shit didn't happen. Soon as soon as he turned around, she got him on some Wolverine shit. You're sitting there like done. And you heard it. You heard glass break. And she was looking like, what the fuck happened to you? And he just sitting there. Like it's it's so fast, and she's so like the speed is so scary. You're like, yo, if she comes, is she a demon? Like, what the fuck is going on? Because you don't see her do the kills. You don't see, and this whole entire time, she's playing a role in, in the bed. Like, oh my God, what's happening? Please, mm-hmm. you promised. You said you were going to, and mm-hmm. I'm feeling, my, my dumb ass feeling bad. Like, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. I miss my baby. Like, I'm like, damn, but, but you, you tricking the fuck out of me too. Like, what the fuck is going on? That was the real demon shit. The fact that she made them think she was locked up in the yeah, room. Yeah, she played she the role, and playing them. them against each other too. It's like, oh yeah, he, he works for my father. Like, Sowing that distrust and mm-hmm. she, because like she like she said, playing with a fool. Like, you know, you get them all riled up and all that. Mm-hmm. She's sitting there with a bib on, like, mm, mm, mm. I can't wait. Mm. They have their argument. She's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sharpening the fangs. Yep. Like that that shit was just crazy. And she 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 was in control the whole entire time, getting them turning on each other. They don't know who to trust. They got a fucking pool of, of, of a thousand bodies in, in the in in the, in the in the basement. Like the whole the whole Resident Evil mansion is compromised. The whole thing is fucked. And it's all locked now. Like they they try to get out the front door. All these shutters come down. They they locked in that shit. There's no way out. She she's running through the house, putting slow jams on, like <laughs> in a better way than a creeper. Like now, she put the records on at the perfect moment. Creeper, he's 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 an alcoholic now, so he's just <laughs> wild around with a gut. And, and, and putting the record on, he don't even deserve it. <laughs> like, Jeepers Creepers Reborn is the worst shit ever. Like, he didn't even deserve, deserve that record player. Jeepers, he was really, Jeepers, the creeper really turned into the drunk uncle. Yeah, like, I mean, he he putting these, 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 these records on for no reason. And, like, it, her, she put them on for a reason. Because she's mm-hmm. a ballerina. Like, you know what I mean? She, she's dancing and all that. And also, you know what I mean? This She's in her element. Yes, she's been alive for hundreds of years though, but she's still a child. in the body of a little girl. And then you find out that her, her father turned her like in that big, you know, library joint. So like she's stuck in this body forever. So that's her. So she's embracing it. And you know what I mean? She she puts the records on to kind of like taunt them and and probably, you know what I mean, just you know, just do her thing. They don't know what the fuck to do. They they're they're trying to piece together things as as, as the movie goes on. She's running, you know. She got secret passageways. One of the funniest moments, and there's a lot of funny moments in the movie. The movie actually is actually funny as fuck. Is is when the, I, I don't know if he's a Russian dude or German. I don't know. He, he's he's sitting there just just chilling, trying to get the, the splinter out of his finger, and she walks up like, <clears throat> "I'm here." Like, ah, <laughs> oh, oh, and then she, she's running. Uh, he's running. Like, she was so ignorant through this whole movie. I can't help but like her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what it was. Like, she was a likable villain. I don't know if, if it was because she she 
I don't I don't know what it is. No, it, she, it's it's something about her where it, she was actually likable. Like I wasn't mad that well, <laughs> which with what was happening. Me either. And she was likable. When everybody else goes to see this, they'll see why she was likable. Yeah. At the end of the day, when you when you heard if you listen to what she was saying throughout the movie, she was actually lonely. Mm-hmm. She was lonely. Um, her father is all she has. Yeah. We don't know what they never spoke and about he, the and mother. He, and he, you know, six her on whoever, you yeah, know what I mean? She, she's yeah. a weapon. And she's looking like, yo, she she really now, yes, she did kill niggas and shit inside Hell the movie. Yeah. But I really do feel as though she now, excuse me for saying this, but I felt as though she wanted the company. She was a child at the end of the day. Mm. Yes, yeah, she gets hungry, like all vampires do, but she literally was having fun. It's, it's probably, other than dancing, other than, you know, the, the, the whole ballerina dancing and all that and, and the performances, this is probably the only fun she can have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's a weapon. So when she's not doing this, she's, she's you know, a weapon for her father. So this is probably the only time that she can actually do some. I don't think she expected to connect with, with with the main chick, the main chick, yeah. So that 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 is probably something that 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 was like like mm-hmm. a whole unexpected factor of this, and it it played it played into it because they actually kind of bonded during in the beginning, and Abigail was telling the truth about mm-hmm. you know her relationship with her father and all that. Like that she wasn't, wasn't lying. She wasn't lying. She like wasn't lying. that that's how it actually was to the point where at the end, <clears throat> she she sees like like yo we got it we got to team up to do this. Mm-hmm. And a part of me, a part of me thought that that the Bing chick would stick around for a little bit. Like that's what I thought. Like I thought, like I, I got some kind of Disney ending in my head. Like I can be your mother. No, like you, I mean, you, the, no, it's me not. Go, no, <laughs> until big, until um the pops walked in and said, yeah. "Bitch, the fuck are you doing here?" <laughs> it's almost dinner time. Um, roll out. Because I mean, he, he he saw he saw what was happening. How Abigail was actually yeah. you know protective of her, which is probably the first time that ever happened. So you probably peeped that. It's like, okay, all right, all right. I mean, I'm not going to say he doesn't love his daughter. Of course he does. We don't know how many thousands of years he's been alive, so he's probably kind of disconnected. I don't I don't know. I don't know their history. You know what I mean? I'm not in the family. I don't know what's going on. But it's like he probably he probably peeped that and was like, okay, all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? And that's, that's why he let her go. But, yo, the crazy thing, the thing that I did not expect was the fact that I was actually rooting for Abigail at the end. Mm-hmm. Like I, if you would have told me, like, oh yeah, you're gonna root for Abigail, knowing what I know about Abigail's, I would have said, no, you're fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. At the end of the movie, tell me why I was rooting for this this motherfucker. I'm like, please, please theater. win, because was. and and you saw when she did the whole pinky promise thing. I'm like, they got they got that bond, they got that connection, and and it 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 played a role. That emotional tie in was phenomenal. Yeah, and that's why I keep saying they really had fun with this movie, and it had meaning to it. Abigail, as a demon, as a vampire, was still able to connect to this woman that she met through being kidnapped. Mm-hmm. She really took it serious when the girl in the beginning said, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Mm-hmm. Abigail really looked at her like, yo, like you really got my back. Mm-hmm. And at the end, I was rooting for Abigail. Like, yo, do what you got to do. And I was expecting the Disney World ending, <laughs> where it's like, you know what? I know you're a fucked up creature, but come with me. I'll be your mom. <laughs> Pops was like, I'm here, motherfucker. What are you talking about? I'm here. You don't need her. We've been doing this shit for years. Bitch, go. Like, like there, there were just so many moments in this movie that that I didn't expect to be so so comical and so fucking dope. Like, like when she when she bit the the, the one chick, oh. and she started turning into a to a vampire, and and Abigail hit her with the Professor X mind control joint, had her dancing and just killed killed the dude, and then pretty much puppeteering the body. That shit was hilarious. She's sitting over the body, like, oh no, she she got him. Come here, y'all. Come on. Let's look at this. And 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 <laughs> and Joey saw something was wrong. She's like, uh, why don't you come over here? She's like, ah, oh, okay, you you know. All right, yeah, fuck she, it. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it it just, it was just it, moments like that where it you could tell they were having fun doing this movie. When when someone is having fun making a movie and people are having fun acting in the movie. You have fun watching the shit. And that's why I really fucking enjoyed this one, man. Like, I did not expect the twists and turns that were actually in it, knowing the main twist, but they, it had enough to separate it from what you saw in the trailer so that you still had a good, a good fucking time. Yeah. Like, if they were to turn Abigail into a series, if there were to be a sequel, which there can be, I'm definitely going to watch the shit. Yeah, and the sequel could be vicious because, mate, 
The big dude. Mm-hmm. The he pops. Got, he got bit. No, not the pops. Oh, who? The big, um, the big Russian dude. Well, well, he's dead. Yeah, but at the same time, he got bit. No, no, he didn't get bit once. He got he got mauled. He got mauled. Okay, so it they ripped this shit out. He's dead. Oh, it wasn't one of those infections. No, 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 because okay, he would have turned yeah, in the movie. Though he's dead. Can you imagine fighting that big motherfucker in that Fuck house? Fuck no, I'm out. That's Nemesis <laughs> or Tyrant or something. I'm not fighting that dude. Tyrant, because he was he was jacked the whole fucking movie. But you know, main, main dude Frank when he got when he got bit because because Gustavo is. <laughs> Gustavo got kind of fucked up and 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 you know got turned on him. So he's like, yo, help me take Abigail out and you can give whatever the fuck you want. So he he bit him because you know he dude's the opportunist and he ended up taking that power, killed, killed Gus immediately. So when when that happened, my mind said, like, oh, okay, so he doesn't like Abigail, so he's gonna team up with the chick and 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 go after Abigail. No, no, he's just he's completely self-centered. I a part of me thinks. That turn might have been a little too dramatic, but I guess that's in his character. But I I don't know. Like like, I guess what I thought in my head is unrealistic. <clears throat> but but I don't know. I don't know. Like if I were to nitpick, I think Gustavo dying that fast was kind of. I don't know, man. I I don't know. No, I don't no, know. No, I feel you. Him as an actor, his his name, like in real life, him just him, the actor who played who plays Gustavo. He was in this movie. Like five minutes. Right. And it's like, you don't get this big of an actor to be in a film for only five minutes. It's like he owes somebody a favor type shit. Because I'm expecting him, an actor of his caliber, to be in the whole fucking movie. Well, I wasn't expecting him to be in the whole movie because it wasn't about him. He like even, even in the trailer, you saw like, you know, they he brought them there. So yeah. he, he, he rolled out. Like, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to be there. But like when he did resurface, him dying like immediately... I don't know. It, it felt kind of quick to me. Well, him being a vampire, period, was kind of like. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, shit. you find that. You find that out. You know, he turns. He turns the dude, dies immediately, and that dude just becomes like the end boss. I'm like, what the fuck? All that shit did was just enhance who he really is as a person. Yeah, that's all that. Him being turned to a vampire, it just made him a bigger asshole. He yeah. just got powers now. Yeah, because you saw how quick he was to to oh, yeah. to accept it. He's like, yeah, fuck it, just go ahead, and bite me. He was like. What about your soul? And, and he was mangling mm-hmm. Abigail. Like, she, he was ragdolling her the whole entire time. That, I will say, did picks aside, the end fight was brutal as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, motherfuckers were getting thrown, impaled. Like, it was actually kind of vicious. Like, the way he was, like, grabbing Abigail, like, damn it, by the lake and slamming and her slamming down her? to the point where she was, like, like contorted. Yeah. And she had to, like, crack her shit back in place. I was that. like, God damn. And then the one scene where um, Melissa Ber- Berrera, you know the I main, I mean, I'm not going to fuck nobody's name up. Just say Joey. <laughs> Joey. When Joey was impaled through the shoulder. Yeah. That 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 might have been the most, that was some hostile shit. Yeah. Where you're watching somebody, the way he pulled her back off of it. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. And you just saw her skin. Oh. This movie, let me tell you something. I didn't like Thanksgiving. After the world hyped up that movie, and mm. after I was hyped to see it, I didn't like Thanksgiving. No, I didn't. And I still don't like it. I watched it again. I still don't give a fuck about it. But this movie was okay. Mm. I don't have to say much to make this shit run on any further. I didn't take it serious the week of the the week of it coming out, which was this week. But as I watched it, I was actually happy with what I saw because it seemed like it was written by people who actually knew what to do. Mm. And I'm happy with it. I'm okay with it. It wasn't a 10 out of 10, but it was good enough for me to say I did not waste my money. Right. It was enjoyable from beginning to end. The actors had fun. I had fun watching it. Abigail, the girl that played Abigail, fucking killed it. I hope she has a a, a very bright career ahead of her because oh, yeah. she played the hell out of that fucking role. And it 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 was just enjoyable the whole entire time. Even 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 at the end... Left it open for you know doing more with the character because I would like to see more of Abigail. Like I still don't trust Abigail's, but if she were to resurface in in an Abigail two or or crossover with Megan, you know what I mean? Fingers crossed. You know I'd, I'd watch the fuck out of that. Either way, movie was fucking dope. Really fucking enjoyed it, and um yeah, I, I hope it's not the last we see of the character. I hope I hope we see more. Oh, love that song. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
You all came highly recommended. Is that Gustavo? You know the rules. Yep. No real names, no backstories. No cell phones. So whose kid is she? A very wealthy man who's about to be $50 million poor. Well, it was Elon Musk for a second. <laughs> make sure you're safe. The fuck? What's your name? Mine's Abigail. You can call me Joey. Do you have any kids? I have a little boy. See you in 24 hours. The fuck? Do you know what a pinky promise is? If you behave and do as we say. Damn, rest in peace. I think he promised you it'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah. I'm sorry about what's gonna happen to you. What? 